me get a little update here on the Capitals. A terrible loss last night. Uh, once again, in the first round of Columbus, we'll see if they can recover off that game one. Last time we talked to Craig Lachlan, it was right after they lost to Pittsburgh in the second round. And here it is, the next playoff game they play, they lose again. And we talked to Craig, and he says hello, NBC Sports Washington, and he joins us. Craig, nice to talk. How are you today, okay? Nice to talk to you, yeah. That's sort of a bad intro, though, Chris. Well, I mean, I tell you, Craig, every we only have you we only, we only have you on with bad losses. And, and, and that was a, and that was an horrendous loss last night. 2 nothing, Man advantage. Five-minute power play. They had scored twice. A chance to score another one. Lose in overtime to a Columbus team that never wins postseason games. Here we go again with the Caps. What can you tell me there first? Let me hear. Okay. Number one, it stings big time because we had the lead twice, Chris. As you know, a couple of goal lead. You should never lose that in the playoffs, even though I always say on the telecast that two-goal lead is the worst Leading hockey, it shouldn't hold true in the playoffs. The Caps have to learn how to do that. I will say this, five on five, it was pretty even. Steven, the power plays with the difference. In the third period, the Capitals say, and they did not play well. They had five shots on Bobrovsky. You're not going to win like that in the playoffs. And to me, it was a shock. I I think the fans left the building in shock once again, and it's recovery mode. I mean, this is a team that wins the Metro, playing a team that's never been there, as you mentioned, loses, Bobrovsky's not been good in the playoffs, and all of a sudden, it's one zip Columbus. It just stings, man. It's not the way the first round's supposed to go, but they're going to recover. They're going to have to recover in a hurry with the Sunday night game coming up quickly. Yeah, the problem that you have is if you're a Capitol fan, you know, it's another doomsday scenario. I mean, you, they haven't been out of the second round in 20 years. They got the great Ovechkin. They never be able to put something together. They got a new goalie that they decided to give a run to. Trotz is a maybe a lame duck, and you know, you lose that first game where you felt okay, new postseason, new look, let's go, and then all of a sudden you get that bad feeling again because you put yourself behind the eight ball how do you recover from that attitude if you're a capital player well i think it's the next game and you've got to have that next game mentality and i'm looking forward to see what they do next game chris to be honest with you are they going to put grubauer back in or are they going to put holpe i sort of am leaning towards putting holpe in because his numbers against columbus are out of this world his numbers as you know maybe not ones in wins and losses in the playoffs but his gaa and save percentage are probably the best of any goalie in the playoffs, okay? So you're getting goaltending, but I want to see the big boys play. I mean, Kuznetsov was fantastic. Ovechkin played 24 minutes, had four shots, really didn't do much five-on-five. And to me, this series is going to slow down. It's not going to be a penalty-filled affair like last night. And so now the Capitals have to play better five-on-five. And the big thing about Tortorella's team is they slow you down between the blue lines. So I want to see Kuznetsov, Ovechkin, Carlson getting up there. He had a nice night with three assists last night. But, man, they've got to be better. They're better overall up the middle. And I've always said now in the new age NHL, it's more about your middleman than your back line. And Backstrom, Kuznetsov, Eller, Beagle may return. We don't know. And Stevenson are going to have to be better than their four centers. And they lost the center last night. I don't expect Wenberg to play after that hit from Wilson last night. Yeah, but the issue I want to really deal with, Craig, is their, is their psychology. This is not a team that has been mentally, you know, strong. They have not been a tough, mentally organized team for a long time. This was a real big psychological hit last night. How do you think the team recovers? Um, I think they're going to recover fine, and I'll tell you why. It's because... It's a different team. This is a team that had to fight their way into the playoffs this year. It wasn't cruise control like the last two years, and all of a sudden they had to turn on the the Jets and turn on the switch. It's not the case. They know to a man that they can play better, that they have to have be mentally tough, and you nailed it. The mentally tough thing is different, though, as an underdog, I believe. And this is a team that no one's picked to win the Stanley Cup, Maybe they're picked to win the first round, but I would say a lot of pundits have picked Columbus just as much as they have picked the Caps. So to me, the message must be, and I hate to say this, but go out and play. Why are you guys worried about any of the other stuff? Get that out of your mind. When it comes to the second round, I know you and I will talk again because then it's going to be, can they get over that hump? 
Well, you better not think of that, Hopper. You're going to lose to Columbus, and you and I will be talking in three weeks about the troubles that Caps have. Yeah, so I'm now, looking forward to a great game. All right. Now, how different are they in composition this year compared to last as far as players are concerned? Um, well, you know, we lost five guys, and so now we're playing a y- lot younger. This is a lot younger team than in past. Verona has first playoff game last night was much better. They're hungrier because of the youth in the lineup. We lost maybe a defenseman, so now maybe Christian Juice, a young guy who has to come in on Sunday night who's never played. To me, the dynamic is different, but the core is still the same. And that's the area that the mental side of it that you nailed has to come to the forefront. I want to see Backstrom, Ovechkin, Kuznetsov, Carlson, O.C., be the guys. They have to be. You know that. I know that. But come on, boys. Rise to the occasion. Get the series tied up 1-1, and let's go to Columbus and beat that darn cannon. Yeah, I think you're, I think you're in a tough spot. Right, how about Trotz? Is he coaching for his job? <laughs> well, you don't have your contract for next year. I guess you are. And I think he's going to pull out all the things he can in his repertoire to get this win on Sunday night. And I think you're going to see a few tweaks to the lineup. I'm not sure on the goaltending because they did not practice today, nor did Columbus, but they're both practicing tomorrow, and we'll have a good key uh, sight line on who's minding the net tomorrow night. That's going to be the biggest decision right. of his tenure in Washington. I agree. Who's he starting on Sunday night? But I say, I tell you, Craig, if he bails out on the kid he played last night who had a good year, that tells you he shouldn't have played him anyway. I mean, if you only give the kid one game, they got a great overtime goal. Seth Jones had a great tying goal. And they got a couple of power play goals. I can't kill him for losing that game. And if Trotz goes back to Hopi, that tells you that he probably should have stuck with Hopi right from the get-go because he didn't have enough confidence in the backup to play him anyway if if he takes him out after one game. Yeah, well, there's two trains of thought there. Do you go with the veteran guy that struggled a little bit, or do you go with this new guy in Grubauer and hope that he gets game one? If he doesn't game, get game one, you know, as a coach, you still got your ace if that's what you're calling, Braden. I think they're both pretty even. So now your ace comes in and now runs the, the table. You've got to play to win, and it's win and you're in. And I'm not so sure other teams have that, but I think here in Washington, it's got to be win and in, Chris. I think it's got to be that way, and hope he better win game. If he plays, better win game two. Yeah, the thing is, I think that sends a bad message. Oh, we'll give the guy one game, and then if he loses, we'll get him out to get Hopi in. What does that tell me if I'm a team? And that tells me, geez, I mean, we got that much confidence in our backup goalie that we bail out on him after one game. It really wasn't his fault. I don't like the message that it sends, but this is typical Capitals. That's my point, Craig. There's always something that's in disarray with this franchise. And last night, 2 nothing lead at home. Power of plays all over the place. A lead in the third period, a terrible loss in overtime. That, to me, is a horrendous barometer of what could come here in this series. No? Yeah, and I can't provide you an answer for that, Chris. You nailed it. I, I, I'm, I'm at loss for words, too, when you have the veteran guys that they have and they let a game slip like that and they let Panarin walk in. And, yeah, it was skill, big-time skill, but, but they had three guys back and they only had two guys going in. So come on, you've got to defend better one-on-one against Panarin, and then I want that save. I need that save. That's why you played Grubauer, because you wanted that save, because you felt he could get you the win. Was it a fabulous offensive play? No, it's a yes. great play. It's a great goal. Yes, yes, but I, you've got to make a big save because it's just like Tortorella says, your best player must be your goalie. And were the goalies all right last night? Well, our guy... Grubauer, 85% save percentage. Their guy, Bobrovsky, 90%. Not world-class. Neither of them, right? 90% is just okay. You want to be 925 in the playoffs. That's why I think Holtby may have the upper hand for game two. And it's going to come down to the wire. This is not an easy out for the Caps. I'll tell you that right now. It's no, not it's an easy out. Tough series. Good job, Craig. Keep in touch. We'll get you again. Thanks very much. Thanks, I appreciate man. it. All right. Craig Thanks. Lachlan on the Caps. Interesting decision. Losing in overtime at Columbus. We continue here on Mad Dog Unleashed right after this.